Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be unpacking and organizing. We just got home from our Christmas vacation to the mountains. We celebrated Christmas with my family at my parents' cabin in the mountains. And so we just got home, we have our regular luggage and our Christmas presents that we got to unpack, put away, organize, all that good stuff. It is a night, so this is an after dark organization and unpacking video. And while I'm unpacking and organizing, I'm also going to be cleaning my face and doing a mass detoxing my face from some of the bad effects that sugar had on my face this week. And the first thing I'm gonna do before I do any unpacking is to change out of my jeans and my shoes and get some comfier clothes on. I'm comfy now and ready to unpack and do some organizing. Okay, so the first thing I did when we got home was to go through the mail. Whenever we go on a trip, we always come back home to a big pile of mail. So I was going through and opening up the mail, setting aside all the junk mail, all the envelopes and stuff to throw away. And just for now, I'm putting mail that we need to keep in this little white box. And then I'll go through it later and like pay any bills and organize the mail where it goes in our filing cabinet and then while I'm doing this my husband is getting all the suitcases and everything from the trailer that we took to carry all of our stuff to the mountains he's getting all that out bringing it into the house so it's ready for me to start putting stuff away and then next I'm putting away food. We did go grocery shopping while we were at the mountains. So I have some like fruit that we didn't finish that I brought home. And then like the supplies that I used for cooking some meals I am putting away. And all of my supplements I'm putting back in the cabinet where they go. The cookie trays, I did consolidate the cookies into just these three tins. And so I'm putting them back in the freezer where they're out of sight, hopefully out of sight, out of mind, so I don't go crazy. If you saw my pantry video, you probably heard that I am what's called an abstainer. So there's two types of people, moderators and abstainers. So if you're a moderator, you can just have a little bit every once in a while and be perfectly fine and not like crave it all the time. But if you're an abstainer, like if there's something that you crave that's around, you're going to eat it and you're going to have a hard time stopping eating it. You know, you can do your best to practice self-control, but self-control is really hard for abstainers when that thing whatever their vice is, is around. In order to not go crazy with it, they have to abstain from it. And I'm an abstainer, so I do really well when I don't have sweets in the house, especially ice cream. But okay, so I sorted through the mail. I put away the dishes that were clean that we had left sitting out on the counter to dry before we left for our trip. And then I also washed the dishes that were dirty from our trip are cups and jars and things that we took with us. So those are clean, those are sitting on the counter to dry. I started a load of laundry with our dirty clothes whenever we travel. If I can, I do some laundry while we're away. And then I also have a separate bag where we put any dirty clothes that I'm going to put in the washing machine right away when we get home and I'm going to start putting stuff away and I'm gonna start with our winter gear. So I have all of our hats, gloves, mittens, coats, all that stuff here. I'm going to hang up our coats, put our hats and gloves where they go, make sure all the gloves are with their matches before I put them away. And then I will get to putting away our clothes and toiletries and things in our suitcases, get that regular stuff put away. And then I will start tackling all of our Christmas presents that we have in these two huge containers. I'm probably not gonna get to all of it tonight. It is after eight o'clock at night and I do have to get up early in the morning. So I'm gonna do some of it tonight and then the rest will wait until tomorrow.
Okay, so all the coats and the gloves and hats are put away. I did kind of go through and organize a little bit as I was putting stuff away and make sure all the coats are zipped up and in color order and that all the hats are in the right place and gloves are with their matches in the right place. And now I'm moving on to my suitcase. And when I unpack my suitcase, I take everything out and sort things into groups where they go. So like all my shirts that I hang up in my closet, I put in a pile. All my jeans that go in my jean drawer, I put in a pile. All my pajamas go in a pile and so on. And then I close up my suitcase and go put it away. So that's out of the way. And then I start one pile at a time putting things where they go. got home a little bit ago and checked the mail, I saw I had a little package from my beauty counter director. I got some things to have a little spa night. So I got a charcoal mask sample, which I absolutely love. I have the charcoal mask already. And this is great, especially for right now after, you know, it's few days after Christmas, I did have some Christmas cookies and some ice cream and just a lot more sugar than I normally have. And my skin does not like sugar. It does break out some with when I have too much sugar and too much dairy, which I did have dairy too. So my skin's not loving it. So this mask is a detox for your skin and it helps to remove dirt and just detox your skin and purify it. So I'm gonna do that. And then I also got oh, this little brush to help brush the mask on. And then I got some Eye Revive cooling masks. This is great for reducing puffiness. If you haven't been getting a lot of sleep, this works really well for reducing that puffiness around the eyes and just helping them brighten up and look more alive, awake, and youthful. And then she also gave me a headband that says Beauty Counter on it to help keep my hair back while I'm washing my face and doing the mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face first, cleanse it, and I'm going to tone it, and then I will do the mask. I'm gonna leave the mask on about 15 minutes to do its work and get all that gunk out, and then I will rinse that off, and then I'm gonna do the eye mask and leave those on under my eyes for another 15 minutes, and then I will moisturize my face and I'll be good to go. Well, <laughs> forgot to push the record button on my camera, so. I wash my face, I double cleanse. I like to do that sometimes to clean my face extra good to get the makeup off and the dirt and the grime, the oils, everything. So I cleansed first with the Beauty Counter Counter Plus Lotus Glow Cleansing Balm. I absolutely love this stuff. It's a oil-based cleaner and you rub it on your dry face, rub it in, and then you rinse it off with warm water, pat dry. And then I also cleansed with Beauty Counter's Counter Control Clear Pore Cleanser. And this is great for oily or blemish prone skin. So I use that when I do have outbreaks of acne. And then I applied my charcoal mask with my little brush tool here. And as you can see, it's starting to dry, still wet in some places, but mostly dry. And so I'm gonna leave it on for about 15 minutes and then I will rinse it off and finish my nighttime skincare routine. And while I'm waiting for this to finish doing its work, I'm going to unpack all of my toiletries and put all that stuff where it goes. If you haven't heard of Beauty Counter yet, I did do a video a while back called Why I Switched to Clean Beauty. And in that video, I go over why I switched to using clean beauty products and why I became a Beauty Counter consultant. I 
found out about this company a few years ago. I love their mission, which is to get clean beauty into the hands of everyone. I tried their products and I fell in love. I absolutely love how clean and safe and non-toxic their products are and how amazingly they work. So I did become a beauty counter consultant a few months ago. So if you are interested in trying any beauty counter products, feel free to send me a DM on my social media accounts or email me. I would love to send you some samples or answer any questions you have about what products would be best for your skin. All right, so I put my toiletries where they go. I put my books and my computer where they go. I had those in my book bag that I use like as my carry-on with things to do while I was traveling. Switched over the load of laundry to the dryer. Apparently I filled that up a little too high. Whoops. So I think I'm done for tonight. I've got my suitcase unpacked, everything put away where it goes. My kids are actually not here. They stayed with my mom and dad for a few more days and my mom's gonna be bringing the boys here later on. So they have their suitcases with them still. I'll finish washing my face and I think that's it for tonight. I think I'll finish, all I'll have left to do will be the Christmas presents and I will put those away tomorrow. I am ready to relax. Okay, so I know it looks like I left the bathroom and popped right back in, but I did let those eye masks sit on my eyes for 15 minutes. And now I'm just taking them off and I'm patting the leftover serum into the skin under my eye to have it an even greater effect. And then I'm toning my skin with counter control toner to help balance the pH and help get rid of any excess makeup, dirt, any remains of the mask, anything that did not come off when I washed my face. And then I'm moisturizing with the counter time supreme cream. I love love this to wear at night. It is great for dry skin and for anti-aging. And then I'm using the counter control SOS spot treatment on like any pimples that I have. It's really great to just give an extra boost of power to zap those pimples away. And then I'm brushing my teeth and I am going to bed. I will finish in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. So it's the next day and I am going to finish our unpacking and organizing. So I finished unpacking my suitcase. My husband unpacked his suitcase. I unpacked the food. I did a load of laundry. I'm about to go fold that load and start a new load of laundry. And then I have our Christmas presents to unpack and put away, organize wherever they're going to go with their new homes.
Okay, so I got some new clothes for Christmas and so did my husband. And we don't have any extra hangers. All of our hangers are being used and I'm not gonna buy hangers. I don't buy new hangers because I don't want to have that option and you know overcrowd our closet and have tons of clothes that we don't really wear and we're more apt to wear clothes that we are able to see and that we love and so every year i get rid of some clothes that like i no longer love i don't really wear that often so i did already organize my closet and i did get rid of several clothes that i no longer wear but I need to get rid of a few more. So I'm gonna go through here and get rid of some things, free up some hangers to hang up my husband's new clothes and my new clothes. So like I said, I did already organize my closet and you can catch that in my master closet organization video. I will link down below, but I see some of my husband's shirt got out of place. So I'm going through and straightening up his shirts and putting them back with their colors where they go. It can be really hard sometimes to figure out what clothes to get rid of. So I'm kind of using the KonMari method and touching each shirt and like asking myself, does this bring me joy? And if it's something that I know right away doesn't bring me joy, then I'm taking it out to put up in the attic for now with a pile of things I have up there to get rid of. And that will be another video coming up soon because my attic is definitely getting overcrowded and it is time to have a garage sale or something to get rid of some of these things. Okay, before I put our Christmas presents away, I'm actually gonna go to the grocery store. I'm about to go drive up and pick up my order. I'm probably gonna go in and grab a coffee from Starbucks because I haven't had a cup of coffee yet today. I'll let you know what kind I get. But I'm gonna get the groceries, come home, get the groceries all put away, get all my produce washed first before I put it away. And then I will tackle the Christmas presents. Okay, I am back with the groceries and the Starbucks. And let me tell you, <laughs> it was a fiasco ordering a Starbucks drink. Who knew it could be so hard? But for one thing, it's so hard to hear each other when you're both wearing masks and covering up your mouth. You can't hear what the other person's saying. That's one thing. And then another thing is that Starbucks was out of so many things. So this is not what I was originally planning on ordering, but it's still good. I got a tall Americano with coconut milk and honey. And I like to get Americanos rather than coffee because they always seem to be so much hotter. For some reason at Starbucks, when you order coffee, I guess it's because they brew coffee in the morning and then it sits in the pot, it doesn't stay hot. And I always regret it when I get a coffee because it's not hot at all. So I get an Americano and I usually get it with almond milk because I try to avoid dairy for one thing to save on calories and also because dairy can cause inflammation and it causes acne for me. And so I usually go with almond milk. I have a little sensitivity to coconut. When I eat a lot of coconut, like my throat gets kind of scratchy and a little swollen feeling in my mouth. So I usually don't get coconut, but they were out of almond milk, so I went with coconut this time. And it's yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna get all these groceries put away. Get those dishes over there put away. And then I need to go take care of the chickens. So we were gone for a week. We left plenty of food and water for our chickens, but I'm going to go refill their food and water, get all the eggs that they laid while we were gone, let them out of the coop, let them free range for a little while for the rest of the afternoon. And then I will get to the Christmas presents. So before we left for vacation, I already made my meal plan for this week. And I get my groceries at Harris Teeter and I use their app to shop for my groceries. And then I drive up and pick up my order. So when I meal planned, I put my groceries that I needed in the app, but I didn't place the order yet. I placed the order last night 
when we got home from vacation. And so I just went and picked up my order and grabbed my coffee in Starbucks today. I love ordering from Harris Teeter because of the convenience. And I know a lot of grocery stores do this now. When I was looking a few years ago, Harris Teeter was the only grocery store around me that did this. But now a lot of grocery stores, you can just order online and go and drive up and pick up your order. And I absolutely love this, especially when you have young kids and you don't want to go in the grocery store and be asked so many times, can we get this? Can we get this? It just makes it so much easier. I can hide. I got the basket to get the eggs. So let's see how the food and water situation is going and see how many eggs the chickies laid. Hey, chicky, chicky, chickies. We have eight chickens. Ooh, lots of eggies. Come on out, guys. How you doing? Ooh, they still have plenty of food in there. Lots of food. I do need to fill their water and clean out their water container. Lots of eggies here. Lots of poop here to clean up too. Chickens are loving. Chickens are good, got the eggs. It is windy. Okay, so I'm gonna go rinse these off, have a little lunch break, and then finish unpacking. We have these two big tubs that we carried Christmas presents to the mountains in and then we put the Christmas presents that we got in these totes along with a few other things. So what I'm doing now is taking everything out of these totes and sorting the things into groups based on whose it is. So like I have a pile, each son has a pile. I put all the candy and food items in a pile. My husband has a pile. And then I put a pile of like things that go in the art cart, crayons, markers, things like that. And then I also made a pile of things that we need to return. There are some clothes that some of us got that don't quite fit. My husband got a few different Yetis, so he's gonna take one of those back. This camping mat that my husband asked for was a lot bigger than we thought it was. So we're gonna return that and I think get some smaller ones. So for now, I'm gonna be putting those things in the laundry room. And then when I have a chance to go and make all those returns, I will do that. Okay, do your kids get this much candy for Christmas? This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. So Santa brought a few pieces of candy in each of the boys' stockings. And then my mom also gave the boys each a stocking with even more candy in it. So they cut lots of candy. Let me know in the comments if your kids get this much candy for Christmas. 
but I do not like ever buy candy. So they just get candy for Christmas, for Easter, maybe some for Valentine's Day and for Halloween. And that candy like goes in this basket and it lasts for the whole year. I don't buy any other candy. And each of us has a jar with our favorite candies. So each day, if they've done their chores and they want a piece of candy, they choose one piece from their jar. And then whatever doesn't fit in the jars, I'm putting in this basket. Oh my goodness, we have so much extra candy. I need to just go ahead and throw some of it away because, I mean, this is probably more than what will last us for a year. So I took the boys presents that they got to their rooms and taking all the tags off and putting the things where they go. We already organized Jace's room before Christmas and got rid of some toys that he doesn't play with anymore and made room for some of the new toys that he got. We have not organized my oldest son Jackson's room yet. So I will have him help me organize it when he gets home in a few days because he definitely needs to make room for some of his new things that he got. He is like a little pack rat and he likes to keep lots of things. So I'm gonna help him. We're gonna try to figure out some things that he doesn't play with anymore, he doesn't like anymore, and organize the toys that he does have. And he's getting older, so it's not just toys that he has. He has lots of books, lots of like survival gear he's really into like going outside and pretending that he's surviving in the wilderness like bear grills gills whatever his name is he likes to be him and so he has a whole shelf of survival gear and we just need to go through and make that look nicer and neater and more organized The boys got a few new games for Christmas. We try to do family game night every Friday night, which we need to do a better job of making sure that we do it every Friday night and be more consistent to make it more of a tradition. So the boys got some more games and we keep our games in our coffee table here, but it could not fit one more game in it like it is. So I am going through and organizing. I'm getting every game out and the games that take up a lot of space, I'm putting their pieces in Ziploc bags. So like the memory games, we don't need a whole box for these little memory cards. So I'm putting each set of the memory cards into its own Ziploc bag. And then if there's a game that is missing tons of pieces, I'm just throwing it away. Like this Frozen Trouble game doesn't even have the pieces anymore that you move around. So it's going in the trash. So once I did that, I was able to fit the new games that we got. And I'm not taking tons of time to organize right now, but I will organize this better later and actually make labels for each game. But this is all I'm doing for now.
my husband got me this new jewelry box for Christmas and I love it. I actually asked for one from the container store and they were all sold out. So he found this one on Amazon and I think I like it better than the one that I found at the container store. I will put the link for it down below, but I love it because each level you can take off and you can separate all the levels and see all your jewelry at once if you want. And you can rearrange how you want the different levels. And there's plenty of room for all my jewelry except for the necklaces that I have hanging up in my closet. Each pair of earrings has its own little compartment in here and I love it. It makes me want to get more jewelry and start actually wearing jewelry more often. So I don't know what my favorite Christmas present was. There are a lot of presents that I like a lot that I got, but let me know in the comments, what was your favorite Christmas present that you either received or gave someone for Christmas? Okay, so I'm almost done unpacking and organizing things as I go. I just have this little pile of stuff to put away. And when I unpack, just like with packing, I like to go from one side of the house to the other. So I got all the boys stuff that's here put away. And I dusted their rooms, cleaned mirrors in their rooms. Bathroom is good, the family room is good. I did put my stuff away in my bedroom. My bedroom is nice and clean. I dusted in there as well. And pretty much everything that goes upstairs in the attic is put away. So I just have this pile here in the kitchen that I'm gonna put away where they go. Got some cores and stuff to put away. Got some pictures to figure out where to put. I'm trying out some new cleaning supplies, guys. If you've seen any of my cleaning videos, you probably know that I use Dr. Bronner's for a lot of things, but I am trying out Branch Basics now, which I have heard amazing things about. They are a really clean company, very clean ingredients, and I love how they are sustainable. And they come with these bottles where you fill up with water and then the concentrate and then when you run out you just buy a new concentrate instead of having to buy lots of different bottles for like window cleaner bathroom cleaner multi-purpose cleaner all those things this concentrate can be used for all the cleaning in your home so I'm excited to try that out so I'm gonna go put those away I'm not gonna mix the things together right now I'm just gonna put this away in my laundry room and when I run out of my different cleaning products that I'm currently using, then I will make up a bottle of Branch Basics to use. Okay guys, decor is not my specialty. I had such a hard time getting this area to look how I wanted it to look. I still think it's probably a little too crowded, but hey, it's it works. It's, it's staying like this for now. I've pretty much cleared everything off. Everything's put away except for I have a few pictures that I'm gonna hang up I think tomorrow. I'm gonna get my husband's opinion about where I should put them and then hang them up and that's it. I think I'm calling it quits for tonight. I'm ready to eat some supper and sit down and relax and I still have to put the vegetables away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you get notifications and you stay up to date on all my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.